What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Let's chop some samples today. All right, so you can see the name of the sample right there, you know. So if you want to see what it sounds like, go ahead and look it up. Otherwise, I'm just going to jump into finding the part uh, I want to chop, which is somewhere around here. Alright, cool. Um, let's go ahead and just chop this section so I can get rid of this access. You might not want to do that because you probably want to find more parts to chop, but uh, me personally, I'm just avoiding a copyright strike. I guess that doesn't really exist anymore, but I don't believe it. Alright, let's get into this. All right, it looks like our downbeat is over here somewhere. Let's zoom in a little bit more. All right, it looks like it's here. It is. All right, right click, split by slices. I'll get rid of that beginning. Um, let's move this position to zero. All right, and then we'll cut here at that next downbeat. So now we got a two bar loop. Um, if I loop it, you'll see. Pretty flawless, right? Now we just gotta get it to match the tempo, which currently is, uh, 156. So I'm just gonna hold down Option or Alt and drag it so that it matches. That's what it's supposed to be. This is what it sounds like as four bars. All right, now what I'm gonna do in addition to that is uh, double click on it, make sure it's in slice edit mode, gonna right click inside of this, and I'm going to bounce this to a new rex loop so I can chop this up and play it there or put it in a Kong, uh, whatever I would like to do. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's manipulate this loop before we get into the chops. So uh, effects, Turn to one. Uh, let's go with drop and lift by turn two on. I accidentally duplicated the. Got a few different modes we can uh, choose between, so this is what I'm doing right now. Glitch mode. Oh, that's cool. So uh, mid side, we can change the middle and keep the side. So we could do something like this. <coughs> Okay, I'm getting carried away, sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and keep this here. Um, maybe bring this down, um, let's see, seven. I really like that. All right, uh, so since I accidentally um, kind of duplicated this, let's get rid of this one and we'll drag in a Rex loop. Double click there. All right, cool. Now I can also transpose this negative seven to match what I did to the middle of the loop. All right, and to this side a little bit. All 
Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get something programmed in the sequencer here. Alright, I'm gonna go through these slices, see what I think sounds interesting. Um, I didn't really change anything, it was just the auto slice. This one sounds real cool. Let's see how we can fit this. Let's turn on the metronome. Alright, that'll be cool. Uh, let's find... Alright, cool, we got nice chops there. Alright, um, after that, I would say Let's uh go ahead and go with retro beats. Um, let's find a kit that'll fit with uh, what we got going here. All right, cool. So I use my 16 drum pads on my Akai MPK 61. Uh, just to lay down something real quick. Um, not the best finger drummer, but you know, a little bit of quantize and a little bit of groove later on equals greatness. All right, and let's uh, mute this for a second, and let's hear that with this loop we got here. All right, cool. So what we know we need to do, what I know I need to do is go to turn two on again, and grab this handy dandy, man, with my glasses, isolate X. Cool, let's duplicate this over. Let's go ahead and um, add drop and lift to this uh, Rex player as well so we can get these two um, instances of the sample to mesh better together. So uh, turn two on. All right, uh, so basically sticking with um, negative seven semitones, let's go ahead and drop this negative seven and see what we get. Let's also try plus five, um, the opposite. All right, sounds like chaos right now, but 
Watch this. All right, check this out, check this out. All right, now uh, for the part that I had chopped up, I'm gonna create a new send effect. And uh, what I wanna do is grab Comeback Kid. Baby Audio Comeback Kid. I'm just going to keep this open. And that second one that I chopped is the green one, which is right here. So let's go ahead and turn this on and solo it. All right, cool. So I'm gonna use this to add to the sample chop, basically. Uh, so let's add some tape. Turn on cheap, swirl, add some sauce. I just like to dial in those three automatically and we'll dial back or more um, as needed. Uh, let's turn on ping pong. Low cut. Can make it wider. Richer. Well, fourth is cool. Stay there. Maybe more feedback. All right, let's hear that. All right, dope. Uh, it's like I'm killing them with the style. These people whacking really wild. It's going down. I'm just playing. All right, let's <laughs> let's uh, add a um a bass line here. Uh, let's see, reason electric bass, and uh, we have a uh, kind of a slight dilemma. We need to figure out what the key is. So what I'm gonna do is uh grab my favorite tool to use in figuring out what the key of something is. Who makes it? Mixed in key. Mixed in key. I got it. I remember it this time. All right, cool. Uh, let's run this. It thinks it might be flat minor, but since I've done so many crazy things to it, it's not sure. So this is where we're allowed to experiment. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's see. All right. So let's drop this down a pitch, uh, an octave, and um, maybe mess with this. You know, I'm liking that for a freestyle bass line. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, maybe change it later. Let's add some more elements. Uh, bar chimes. Love it. I don't mind having that chaos going in the background. All right, cool. Uh, let's flip to the sequencer um, and make this longer. All right, fun. I 
I think this is a really good start for you to go off and uh, make your own beat now. All right, it's all culture. Kick back, cook up. Let me know what you would like to see next.